Hi guys, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I'm on the floor right now because um, I'm playing with Pepper, but she is biting. Stop! <laughs> Stop! I'm playing with Pepper right now, and ow, she is very, very hyper right now. So she's just chewing all over me. You want to say hi real quick? Say hi, baby. She don't even want to be in my hands. We playing right now. Got to get this energy out. She is crazy. But anyways, oh, Jesus. If you see her hopping, it's because she sees my hands and she wants to chew on me. So trying to keep her from doing that. But I'm about to just give 50 random facts about me. This video is all over the place because I'm like trying to multitask. But anyways, I have 50 facts about me and I'm gonna just go ahead and say them all while playing with her hoping that I don't get bitten to the point where it draws blood. So if you are interested, keep on watching. I am five foot and a half. <laughs> five foot and a half and a half an inch i am 24 years old i'll be 25 this year i graduated high school when i was 17 years old i went to college but i did not finish i was an english major as a kid i used to draw and write stories all the time and comics actually that was my hobby Ooh. My favorite colors currently are pink and blue. As a kid growing up, they used to be orange, green, and purple. I never <laughs> could just have one favorite color. I'm a Christian and I began this journey in October of 2019. So wow, it's about to be two years. Look, mama. I do not like to bowl at all. It's probably my least favorite outing to do, you know, for people and friends and family. I can't stand doing bowling. I count everything and when I say everything I mean I count my steps I count I count the gulps of water or whatever I'm drinking I count how many gulps it takes for me to drink it um, I count when I'm like doing the landing gear I know that it takes about 38 to 44 um, turns on the landing gear every time I count gulps and if it doesn't land on seven or eight or whatever i'll go to 14 or 16. i never like to land on six no matter what i'm doing it's, it's a weird thing i couldn't wear nail polish until i was 16 years old oh my goodness and that includes french manicures i'm single and i don't want to date and i'm not dating currently one of the best smells in the entire world to me is the bookstore. I love the bookstore. I love the smell of books. I used to save $7.95 every week as a kid in middle school just so that my dad can take me to the bookstore and I buy a book. I can't skate. I actually learned how to skate as a kid, but I forgot. For the people who say that skating is like riding your bike, I still know how to ride my bike. And I haven't ridden in like years and I know that I know how to ride my bike but skating I forgot how to skate so gotta learn how to skate again I used to have two guinea pigs named Carmel and Lightning my worst subject in school from like elementary up to high school was history and government and all that stuff it was my worst subject I'm not a coffee drinker but I do like cream and sugar so I'll drink coffee as long as it's doused with that I cannot drink black coffee though I get car sick if I'm sitting in the back seat so if it's been over 30 35 40 minutes and I've been in the back seat of say like an uber or something I start getting like motion sickness where it affects like I feel groggy and I have a headache and my stomach starts to hurt. My top three childhood nicknames was Big Head, ooh, Pumpkin Doodles, and Princess. I am super clumsy. I have practically no hand-eye coordination whatsoever. I love superhero movies. I never studied growing up in school at all. I never studied. If I did study, it was the last 10 minutes before the, the test. Like, it's that bad. Hey! Stop it, stop it. I like all types of music as long as it's not too vulgar. I drink tea with no sweetener. Oh. 
Where'd you find that at? One of my favorite things is talking about a movie after watching it, like critiquing it with other people. My last, how do I explain this? My last thing on the list of wants that I have is to buy a house. So in other words, you know how people want, I don't know, a car and they want a this and they want a that, da 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 da. I technically only have one thing left on my list of wants outside of the things that I know God wants me to do. Those are I feel are more like tasks but the thing that I want to do the last thing that I want period is just the house and then I'd be like content with life <laughs> I don't like blood and gore in movies at all it, ugh, it makes me sick bright lights at night freak me out I don't really know how to explain that I've tried to explain it to people before but it actually just makes me sound weird but like for instance I don't know if if my car breaks down in the middle of the night I feel reluctant to have my hazard lights on because if I go outside to check and see what's going on and I see my hazard lights, it's going to freak me out that they're like this. And I think the scariest thing is if a light suddenly turns on at night. Like for instance, if, Jesus. Like for instance, if I'm walking past a house that has that sensor light in their backyard, if it comes on, it will freak me out. When I go to get a pedicure, I can't stand when they massage my legs. It's just, I hate it. I hate it so much. Baby girl. Mamas. Hi. Look here. I like my, ooh, she done knocked my dog on camera over. Oh shoot. I like my books in pristine condition. I can never read the same book twice. I never had the patience to enjoy arts and crafts. I just cannot enjoy it. It takes too much like to draw and stuff like that. It, it gives me anxiety. My battery went dead, so we just gonna try to hurry up because I just charged it for like 10 minutes. But anyways, I don't get claustrophobic. My fingers and my toes do. So like if I put my foot in a sock and something wraps around my toe and I can't like shake my toe loose without me needing to go and manually do it with my hands, I will freak out. I don't know, I don't know. I can't stand rom-coms. I actually don't find Kevin Hart that funny. I think that he's more goofy than funny. Technically right now, I would say the most funny person currently to me is Dave Chappelle. I don't have any mainstream talents. So like, I don't know how to dance. I'm not a singer. I don't, I don't know, do magic or whatever. <laughs> um, I think one of my talents, mm, I don't know my talent. I really don't understand the, the fear of spiders and bugs, but I never hear about anybody having a fear of centipedes. Like that's what we need to talk about centipedes because i can understand the fear of centipedes why do people have like there's literally a such thing as arachnophobia but i have never heard of of centipede fear i used to think that i had a superpower growing up i used to squint at street lights when my dad would drive me to school in the morning and i would think that if i squint and the light would like spread out that i had a superpower i have one tattoo and it's on my right arm it says Cleos and it is Greek for it's it roughly means inherited glory in Greek styrofoam rubbing against itself is probably the worst sound in the world next to squeaking sneakers on a gym floor or scratching a, a, um, a chalkboard I've never liked scary movies at all and I will cover my eyes the entire time <laughs> cooked fruit is disgusting to me like if I have a pie if it's like cherry pie or apple pie or whatever it's gross to me I only like the crust and peach cobbler I just don't like cooked fruit warm soft fruit it's the texture that makes it gross I've always had a rough time processing large amounts of information in a in a fast pace so like if somebody's telling me 30 different things in one sentence I'm probably on 
thing number two by the time you're finished like I, I process it slower than it's normally told to me so I, like in college I actually struggled a little bit trying to keep up in class just because things they they t taught in such a fast pace and I think by me also not studying so much I mean I, I ironically did pretty good in college for the time that I was in there but I struggled retaining a lot of information I can't solve riddles at all I'm actually it's something that my dad and I actually spoke about we think very literally and so riddles are are more about like metaphors and things like that or it's like it's not precise it's very like it it just goes straight over my head is all I'm really trying to say I think very literally so if you say something like it was blue and da, da 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 I'm thinking of the color blue. I'm not thinking anything but the color blue. Like, if you meant like feeling blue, it went over my head, period. <laughs> I'd rather be too hot than too cold any day. Cold hurts. The only thing I like about the winter is the holiday season. I love Christmas time. It's such a good time. I love like Christmas music. It's just the best. It's the best. And the best part is the lights. My favorite season is spring. It would be fall because I love dressing in the fall time, but it's also sort of sad because the sun starts setting a lot quicker in a day. The days get shorter. It gets cooler outside. You get your first snow in fall. It's, it's just, I don't care for that. But spring is so cool because you can see that the days are getting longer. It's starting to warm up. The flowers start coming out. The only thing I don't like about spring is the rain but I also like that pastels come back in I wear a size 7 to 8 in shoes depending on what type of shoe it is so like if it's Vans I wear a size 7 because they normally come big but in almost every other shoe I wear a size 8 I've never ever ever been out of the country <laughs> I plan on getting my passport this year I've never even had my passport but it's primarily because I've never been out of the country um, not even to Canada so okay so I'm editing right now and I'm just now recognizing that I skipped one on my list and that is I grew up as an only child I actually have two siblings but they're both significantly younger than me and I did not live with them through the duration of my childhood and so I technically grew up as an only child well that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sorry if it felt a little rushed but my camera's like about to go dead super soon pepper's over here going crazy she finally chilled out when the camera went dead she's been nipping at me but that's just because she's a baby and she's teething if you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments if you guys want a part two let me know i try to be a little bit more personal than normal i know a lot of you guys have been asking things about myself things that i don't normally talk about on this channel I try to keep it as surface as possible just because I don't really think the channel needs to be that personal I'm someone who's naturally a little more reserved but I figured why not just give you guys a couple facts about me just so that you know me a little bit better but with that being said I love you all so much let me know in the comments if you like this video and I will see you guys in the next one bye